Hey everyone, we are we are live and I'm doing something I've never done before. I have two different telescopes. I have the Celestron through an eyepiece only, no other camera. This is just through the iPhone camera. And I'm trying to look at, or I'm looking at NGC 4753, the new uh, Hubble space image. I am live streaming in vertical mode and horizontal and I am trying to image uh, two things right now. So I have the sun, excuse me, the moon through the Celestron telescope. That's the moon and it's looking through an eyepiece, that's the live moon right now through the eyepiece of a Celestron telescope live. And I'm trying to look at the, you guys have heard of the new Hubble image of Galaxy NGC 4753. I'm trying to look at it. That's the one you're seeing in the center of your screen. I'm trying to get that same, it, it, it's actually that one right now. Galaxy NGC 4753, the new one that's been trending. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to, look it up right now. This NGC 4753, Hubble took an image of it and it's unlike an image we've ever ever seen before that's the one I'm trying to get with the sea star right now and it's I'm having it obviously a very difficult time trying to get this galaxy it's in there that's the one in the center but their moon the moon is bright as bright can be It's practically almost a full moon so you can kind of barely see the galaxy I'm gonna keep zooming in but it's very blurry there, I've got a lot of, I actually have some cloud coverage right now. The moon is really bright. So if the moon wasn't this bright, we would be able to see this galaxy better. But this is live NGC 4753. Google this if you can, if you have another device on the side or if you can minimize this screen right now. And look at look up this galaxy. That's the one we're looking at live. The lenticular NGC 4753 mag, uh, galaxy. We're also looking at the moon live through a telescope. I have two telescopes set up right now. I have two telescopes. Thank you for joining the Astro Room tonight. Or good morning or good day, depending where you are. We've got a lot of cloud coverage. I'm trying to keep that moon tracking. And it is currently 9.34 p.m. here in Pacific Daylight Time, California. Let me know where you're watching from. I've got a live chat going. Thank you for joining. If this is your first time, I do live telescope streams. I have two different telescopes set up right now. I'm trying to look at the Hubble image that has been trending like crazy, which is Galaxy NGC 4753. And it's in the center of your screen. I have two live streams ongoing right now, vertical mode and horizontal mode. And we are looking at this galaxy that uh, has been all over trending the news. The moon is looking insane. That's why we're not getting such a good view of the galaxy. So this galaxy, folks, welcome, bienvenidos, gracias, yo también hablo español. Eh, suscríbanse a mi canal si quieren seguir viendo el espacio en vivo. Thank you. Please subscribe. This is your first time joining. I speak Spanish as well. I was welcoming my Spanish viewers. Uh, it's so difficult to see this galaxy, folks. Imagine I have like a, a, a backyard telescope. I have two telescopes running right now, and we're trying to look at this insane galaxy 
NGC 4753. Let me know in the live chat if you have heard of this on Space News. It's really, really hyped and trending right now because the Hubble Space Telescope from NASA took a picture of it, which I have it there. You see that picture? It is, uh, if you're looking at the vertical stream, it's on your left. And I'm, I'm actually have, I actually have that galaxy in my telescope in the center. And I've got the moon. I've got two telescopes live right now. And we're trying to get the exact, we are looking at the exact one that the NASA Hubble Space Telescope saw. Look at that moon. The moon is very bright. So if this moon was not so bright, we would be able to see this galaxy even better. Yes, so it is galaxy NGC 4753 and it's a lenticular galaxy. And if you if you Google it right now, if you can, you're going to see that it's uh, highly popular right now because it's a new image that the Hubble NASA Space Telescope took. And this is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. This is absolutely incredible that we're even looking at this. I, like I said, I have two telescopes running. And we're looking at NGC 4753. We're also looking at the moon. That is the moon live right now. We have a lot of clouds. You can kind of see the clouds kind of coming in the way. This galaxy is underneath the moon. Very, very far. Very, very far. But it's nonetheless, uh, you know, because of that, it's that's why it's so difficult to see. But we're looking at galaxy NGC 4753 through a smart telescope. And we're also looking at the moon through the Celestron telescope, which is your traditional computerized telescope. So two telescopes at the same time right now, the telescope on the top corner of your, your left corner, that's actually uh, the Celestron. And we're looking at this other galaxy right now in the center of your screen. Okay, zoom out. You can see, you can see there, let me zoom out a bit. Very difficult to capture this galaxy, folks, because it's, like I said, it's so near the moon. And, uh, yeah. So, it's really cool, though, that we can, that we can see this. And... To find out a little bit more about this galaxy so you guys can have an idea. First of all, also as why it's so hard to watch, to look at this galaxy, right? We're trying to look at this Hubble space image. That's, it's a lenticular galaxy. It's 60 million light years away. <laughs> so imagine that. Um, it's so far, the magnitude of this is over, I believe, over 10 plus is very difficult to see not a go-to galaxy by any means uh with the regular home telescope i would say because look how difficult it is for me to even get this but we also do have a lot of clouds in the way uh i am live streaming also the moon uh through the celestron telescope it's looking directly through my phone ip like through the eyepiece the phone is just uh the phone is just right on it. It's, it's, there's no special camera attached. It's literally just my phone on the Celestron telescope. And this galaxy is like right now underneath the moon, so to speak. Of course, it's very far away from each other, right? Millions of light years. But it's, it's difficult for me to capture this, as you can tell, uh, through, the, through the sea star. But that's what I'm capturing right now. It, because we have just so much clouds. 
and uh, we and you can actually you you can see those clouds on the moon right now. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? Uh, and the moon is so bright. Perhaps if the moon wasn't so bright, we can see this galaxy a bit better. But the moon, not, not, regardless, looks beautiful right now. It looks awesome. But yeah, this galaxy that you're seeing in the center of the screen, NGC 4753. Pull it up a little bit more here. Is 60 million light years away. What's been, what's super interesting about this galaxy, it's been the space photo of the week. NASA is nonstop talking about this because it's we're seeing an image in a way we've never seen before. I'm actually going to try to get it a little bit bigger. And this galaxy, it, I mean, it, we've never seen this view where it looks like a net. Almost, do you see that? How it kind of looks like a net? Uh, they're calling it a Twisted train wreck galaxy, which I thought was funny. As well, it looks like an illusion. Like it looks like it's like, like a space cloud, and it's got these dust lanes, is what they call it. But it it, it really does look like you can see the bright white core in the center of the galaxy. But it's amazing how on Earth did the Hubble Space Telescope take this image? I'm, I'm blown away. And I am streaming right now horizontal and vertical mode. So feel free to pick your view. And thank you for joining. And this image from, from the Hubble telescope is incredible, guys. They're, they're also calling it one of the greatest optical illusions in the nearby universe. For those of you just joining, I want you to also know I am imaging the... I have two telescopes running. I have my Celestron looking through the eyepiece just through my phone. My phone's attached to it. And it's, it's just straight, no fancy camera, just my phone and I'm looking at the moon. And I'm trying to capture this galaxy, NGC 4753. 60 million light years away. The Hubble uh, Space Telescope, NASA, just released this image. Barely May 13th. So, less than a week ago, this galaxy uh, has been shown. We've never seen a galaxy look like this. It's the best image ever, according to NASA, of NGC 4753. They, they're nickname, nicknaming it the train wreck galaxy. So they've taken similar images of this before, but nothing that has looked like this. Like what you're seeing. I'm having a lot of cloud coverage. Wow, guys, look at that. You see the moon? I, it's, that's why it's, it's getting a little difficult for me to... I wanted to try and bring this stream anyway, kind of last minute, to see if I could get this galaxy. But I, want, I wanted the Celestron telescope out there so you guys can see proof of why it's so difficult to try to even capture this tonight. Uh, the Celestron is doing a great job though. Yeah, so this is the most detailed image ever of... NGC 4753. It looks like a, they're calling it like a web-like tunnel or like a tent around its nucleus. And they, it's a lenticular galaxy because they say it's a cross between the spiral galaxy, just like our own Milky Way, and an elliptical galaxy. So a cross between that is called a lenticular. So the, these kind of galaxies also have a special, uh, a central bulge and disc, as you notice there in the picture, right in the center. 
almost reminds me of the sombrero galaxy how it has that bulge that you see in the center as well and they say that it has stars orbiting in a featureless pattern like no direct pattern their scattered stars are usually older with few new stars being born with this galaxy right now let me know where you guys are watching from if you're new is your first time please subscribe if, if you're finding this content valuable hit me with some likes So this, uh, this unique view of this galaxy, NGC 4753, according to scientists and NASA, they're saying that it looks so strange like this just simply because of the view that we have, our, our, our view from our location from Earth, right? Maybe a view directly from above. It may look more like a spiral galaxy. Very interesting, you know, which when you think about a spiral galaxy, you think of like the Whirlpool Galaxy, for instance. You know, you think of those arms. Uh, yeah, so... They also believe this galaxy merged with the Dwarf Galaxy about 1.3 billion years ago, which could explain the dust lanes around the nucleus. But it's, I find very interesting that this galaxy just looks like a tent like it looks like there's a tent around it like a net immediately when i saw it without reading anything about it when i saw this image i was like this looks like a a net <laughs> and scientists say hopefully this will help them understand a bit more like dark matter things like that so many things from the universe that's so mysterious Okay, looks like the clouds are clearing a bit. My my galaxy is stuck at 16 minutes of stacking images because of the heavy clouds. So this galaxy was first discovered in 1784 by the one and only astronomer William Herschel. I also wanted to try to get Corona Borealis tonight a little bit, but I think we've got way too much cloud coverage. You can see it right there on the Celestron telescope. The moon looks great though. The moon looks looks awesome. And thank you so much for joining everyone. Just a little last minute kind of stream trying to get this galaxy despite the clouds uh amazing that it's kind of the clouds are rushing quick though but thank you everyone for joining me on this stay tuned for more live streams and more videos from the astro room